Buckle up, 10 years. So this is my five cents. Come welcome, welcome, how are we? This is Natalia from Natalka Design and today we're all businessy vibes. Let's share. So today I want to dive right into something that many of you asked me to share and this is basically things I wish I knew before starting a business. Let's dive in. I don't want to get nostalgic guys, but it's been almost, if not soon, 10 years, 10 years of Natalka Design. Like basically, I'm so grateful. I'm so excited. Um, to be fair, I'm as excited as day one. This this love and passion for visual storytelling, meeting amazing people, projects that I would never think about and places that I would never think about that I can get to has been the biggest you know, reward for starting a business. There's been millions of challenges and they will come still. But yeah, so grateful. It's been almost 10 years. So I've got a bunch of stuff that I can share with you. And I have few notes, how about I just share? Maybe you're thinking to start a business or you're already running or you've kind of finished that and you exited or you're retired. Either way, we all have some sort of experience. We all can share. So this is my five cents. It's okay to ask for help. And I will say this forever and ever. It's very simple. If you have an idea, if you want to start a business, if you're running a business, don't do everything yourself ask for help and I know it's sometimes so hard we don't want to be annoying to people we don't want to take their time all that stuff I get it but you would be surprised often how many people actually want to help or are very happy to help and sometimes if they don't reply or they don't help it's not because they're just nasty people and they don't like you or whatever they just probably have millions of things on their plate as well and they just can't find the time or they don't want to give you you know some sort of time and not the quality that you're after so ask for help as i always say 100 people might say no but the 101 can say yes and you would be surprised how often bouncing ideas especially when you start a business and you're on your own you don't have a team yet is the best thing you can do to progress surround yourself with great people and what i mean by great people is people really <laughs> but what i mean by that is surround yourself with people that will have some time hopefully in their lives to listen to share, to comment on your progress, on your journey, of course, if you want to ask them for that. And also sometimes, especially again, coming from a place where I've always run my business solo, I've never had a business partner, I never had a massive team. And now that I have a big team, we're all remote and we've always been remote. One of our main animators is in Venezuela and Berlin and one of our, you know, teammates uh, is um, outside of London and, you know, and our comms manager is by the sea and stuff like that. So we are, we've always been remote and, you know, and kind of work from anywhere. Uh, thankfully for what we can do and but still I feel like I'm surrounded by great people I have people that I can ask for help I have people that I can bounce ideas with I have people around me that I can just kind of talk to run to and share with all sorts of people but it's very important that you don't find yourself kind of alone alone in that space and again if you don't have a I don't know you don't want to involve friends or family in that space which often is actually much better you can go to business meetups, you can uh, join a co-working space, you can join online conversations and groups, you can join WhatsApp groups, you can join and discuss things on LinkedIn and get to know people better. You can ask someone in your network to connect you with someone. There's always a way to meet great people. Admin is the easiest part, business is the challenge. So I'm saying that because when I started my business, I was a bit scared of admin. I'm one of those people, you know, call me creative, whatever. I don't like admin. I am getting better at it. I'm getting more tools and more templates for it. So I know what I'm doing, but I've never been a person that enjoys you know, necessarily exo sheets and templates and prepping things and writing things and scheduling things and paying for things and invoicing things and sending invoices and asking for them and PO numbers and whatever else I can think of. Yet I do it. So when it comes to running the business, the business is the challenge. The business in terms of you know, making sure that the business is afloat, the business is actually a business, not a hobby. So 
you know the the business is earning enough to call itself a business the fact that i can progress and think about hiring people and opening up jobs and opportunities and you know connecting with new clients and leads and being aware of the market and what's going on and innovating in our space and outside of our space and making sure the tech is really good and all the setup so business is so much more challenging in general than admin i find because at the beginning i was like admin accountants this is actually the easiest once you get yourself going your setup the business is the thing to think about and always try to better be agile and be flexible that might be a cliche but what do i mean by that always try to evolve and always try to listen to your clients and your network and your audience if you're offering something that is not selling much or you feel like people don't understand really what you're doing or maybe it's not clear enough be always flexible and open and agile and nimble to change and to evolve and to put a new service if you need to scrap a service if you need to um, create a new product uh, better your software do a big survey and just discover what's working what's not and just be open to that because one thing i learned that nothing is stable in a business and things change constantly and if you really really want to feel that you're progressing and you're not stalling be flexible now this one i will always say it's very important and close to my heart find yourself a mentor and actually me i didn't find a mentor it just kind of came at me <laughs> so my lovely business mentor that I met at the beginning of my journey, Darren Robson, he popped up into my life without me thinking that there'll be a mentor and he became that person for me very naturally. But if there's not someone that can just bump into you and do that, there's so many ways you can find a mentor. You can find them online, you can find them through networks, you can sign up for different programs, especially for when you start a business. There's so many programs out there where even corporate companies want to share their experience and give back almost and uh, create opportunities to work with mentors. One of them, for example, was amazing for me JP Morgan program where I joined it I was connected with a mentor I didn't know who that's going to be and bless Sarah Sarah became my angel my Gandalf yes, very good. my everything and she was such an anchor and such a help during for example COVID times where it was such a difficult confusing time how to even deal with all the changes and how to approach the business so sometimes you can you know luckily find a mentor but sometimes you just need to dig out a bit and find that mentor for yourself and it's really helpful because that will be the person that will challenge you make you think differently innovate and everything you need around creating a business be confident and believe in yourself again you might find it cliche but even if at home you're stressing out you're nervous you don't know what to do you're like i have no clue i am a liar here be confident go to that room go to that zoom call go to these meetups go into social and show the confidence show that you believe and know what you're talking about and that's the beauty of it if you're starting something where you have an expertise in something and you believe in the idea or you know you just know that this is an important thing that you're starting show it be confident don't be kind of hiding you know kind of in the corner and like saying sorry for your existence because, you know, I always say, like, when you get in touch with people, 100 will say no, 100 will not even reply, but there could be that one that will reply and potentially take you on a roller coaster from there, from then on. So always, always show that confidence and believe in yourself because there's a reason why you started a business, so you should believe in yourself. There will be quiet and busy times. That's something that... I was kind of aware the moment I was in it. So I never knew how it's going to feel that obviously in any business or if you don't have that, that's amazing that you established that. But in most of businesses, especially if you start, especially if you start a solo career or even with another partner or something, there will be quiet times. It's not going to be always on, on, on. So you have to somehow get ready for that feeling and normalize it. 
because at the beginning i remember i was a bit like it's quiet it's quiet no one's calling what's going on oh my god it's the end of business what am i gonna do bills are coming everything and then you realize that it's a it's a normal thing there'll be a month where you cover your expenses for months to come and there'll be months when it's really seasonally or whatever else is going in the world not great you can be scared and nervous and feel very bad about it and lose your confidence because it gets quiet and to be fair with you again from the people that i speak to from my network from my experience and smarter and older people around me who've done it many times it's okay it's normal i was once told by my mentor when it gets quiet get in touch work on your business when it gets busy do the business but also don't forget to still get in touch and the last one the to-do list will never finish just be okay with that because it is a fact you always have stuff to do there will always be stuff to take off and that's just the thing that's there's nothing else um, that can happen there. So you have to kind of learn that, do your best, do as many things as you feel like per day, prioritize, but there'll be always a to-do list. <laughs> I hope any of those were useful. Do you have any other tips and ideas and things that you can share? Have you started a business? Are you thinking about starting a business? Have you finished running a business? I'm sure we all have stuff to say. So please feel free to comment down below, share it with anyone that might need this video as a little boost and hopefully you enjoyed it. Hopefully one thing stick with you and just be yourself, just go for it. There's people around you, you're not alone. Just go for it. Just go for it. I'll see you in the next 10 years, right? <laughs> Bye.